Okay, what does Lucasfilm expect me to do? Here I am covering weekly Disney Plus content and they decide to make The Bad Batch a run of 15 weeks. 16 episodes, 15 weeks. So that means out of my 52 week year, I'll spend 15 of them talking about The Bad Batch. That's almost a third of a year. What the hell, Star Wars? I love you. Hi fellow Disney Plus watchers, this is Thoughts After a Disney Plus Watch, where we review everything new Disney Plus coming out, and I'm glad you are watching. This episode is totally different than the one we got this Tuesday, as this is a 30 minute long mission meant to establish the Empire as a great privacy crushing threat, and setting Omega up as a character. Um, I think those two things are basically the reason this episode exists. So the basic premise of this episode is the Bad Batch going to visit an old friend, and helping him and his family get off the planet after an Empire takeover. I, I really liked it. It wasn't a consequential episode like we got Tuesday where the whole Order 66 situation was established. No, it was an episode meant to justify Omega as a character, why she's going along with the Bad Batch group in the first place. And I like that because I really wasn't sold on her after the first chapter and I don't know if I am fully yet but I do feel like she's given more purpose. Will there be enough to explore for another 14 episodes? I really don't know, but there is a mystery surrounding her. You know, what what, what kind of experiment was she? Um, what is going on? There could be a giant story hidden here. Before we move into the spoiler section, if you're one that can get enough of Disney+, Plus, this is the only channel that's specifically and absolutely only Disney+, Plus thoughts and reviews. Episode per episode, we all watch together. You'll have an idea on what to expect. Click that button and that bell if you want to follow along. Thank you so much. So I'm going to go into spoilers. If you haven't seen the second episode of the Bad Batch, you can put this in your watch later list if you want. Spoilers in 3, 2, 1, let's go. My favorite thing about this episode was the establishment of the Empire and the world building around it. We haven't really explored the privacy, you know, the big brother side of the Empire that much. We knew the concept of clearance codes and monitoring civilians, but it wasn't addressed beyond service level what the Empire is really capable of in terms of being so, um, you know, invasive. The line from Echo really stood out to me. It's ironic, clones wanted to have names instead of numbers, yet now are people signing up to be given numbers. This is also addressing how people can be tricked into a system that will exploit their freedoms. At least, that, that is what I'm reading into it. Oh, we just have to get a clearance code, how bad can it be? Next thing you know, you're being followed all throughout the galaxy. Great stuff. Omega has the potential to be a good character, but I can't help but feel that I would have maybe liked it better if she was uh, going along with it, going, um, going with the family, only to come back later on, you know? Maybe she would have gotten herself into trouble later on in the season so that the Bad Batch group could rescue her or something like that. Because because she still doesn't have a very likable presence. The character can grow into something great, absolutely, but for now, I, I really hope she's being used sparingly, but I'm afraid she won't. There's something about her naive and childlike attitude that doesn't translate well to me in this particular animation style. I, I get the character, I just don't like watching her for now. I still really like the animation style, although it still has its weird uncanny moments. A good example of this is the scene where Omega is attacked, and I say attacked but she wasn't harmed at all, just in danger, but that character where the group travels to, you know, cut. So, so the beast is gone and he wants to comfort her. He says, are you hurt? Ah, let me take a look. You know, are you hurt? Ah, let me take a look. Weird lines, because he doesn't take that look, and, and, and she was already standing up and walking and everything, so, so she, she wasn't seriously hurt, but the way it... it the, the way it was animated and written, it was so weird. It didn't make any sense. It's like the writer and the animator were working completely separated from each other. There's some good humor sprinkled throughout this episode, by the way. I would say it, it gets a little bit funnier with this episode. Come on, gong droid push-ups? <laughs> Isn't this absolutely perfect? This is something I didn't know I needed. I... I want to leave it at this. This episode was just a nice side adventure with something powerful to say about government control and it fleshed Omega out some more. Uh, I like the mission and the world building. It had some issues but I'm still very invested in the Bad Batch. I'm thinking about wrapping this up. If you're interested in thoughts on the first episode, it's all in the description or you can browse my channel page. Did you like this video? Then all it takes is to click that blue little hand down there. Thanks! I won't be here to review the latest episodes next week because I will be on a short trip. Thanks in advance for understanding. For now, have a wonderful day and see ya!